Hello YouTube. Today I'll be doing a video on superworms and what happens at the pet store with them and what happens when you get them home and what you should do or at least what I do. However you deal with it is up to you. So first I have a little bit of a comparison here. The two small ones just were bought today from the pet store than the larger one I've had for a while as I'm slowly feeding them off I have a whole feeding schedule I'll go over updates um, next week because next week is Thanksgiving week and I'm off of school for practically a whole week so I have time to do lots of videos for you guys so yeah you can see the big size difference and on the box here it says that they're large that camera's facing now but yeah it says that they're large and those aren't large that I would just take them out. Yeah, if these are considered large, these are more like mediums. This is what is large, so they're kind of ripping you off when they say it's large. So that's the first thing. Second thing is when they're at the pet store, these guys are not fed, at least in my pet store. So you can see that they're kind of thin. You could um they're not all stretched out completely, and they're kind of sluggish whereas you look at um mine you can see all the spaces in between the um in between the segments he has bright colors he's active he's trying to get away from me so yeah so first thing I get them out of this horrible substrate I do not like it personally it soaks up too much moisture and when it gets moist, it smells bad. So I dump it down in this container, spread them out, and pick out every single one. You can see this one is really thin. Not too good. They're kind of active. But I'm going to do a little, um, yeah, this one's, this is absolutely pathetic. That's a really small one, thin, not good. But yeah, I got a pack of them. Is it 50? Yeah, 50. So yeah, they are ripping you off. Ooh, this one's even worse. I feel bad for these good these dudes. Yeah, it looks like his face is deformed. Look at that. You can see the um the chompers are deformed. So that dude's probably not gonna survive, but I'll give him a chance. So yeah. I am going to cut. And once I have all these guys out in a separate container, I'll start the video up again. And I'll tell you what to do next, or what I do next. Alright, I'm back. I cleared them all out. This is supposed to be a 50 count. I guess that's 50. So, yeah. Um, here's the tub. Make sure you have no um, more superworms in it. And what I do with the bedding, I'm going to take it, stick it in the compost. Because I compost almost everything. So yeah, let's move on to the next section. And this is good for, um, I'm probably going to use this as a plant potter, as a potter for plants, so, okay. Um, so I have oats. These are the oats that I use. I'd prefer, um, organic, but these aren't organic. This is just what I had lying around, so, yeah. Yeah, you're going to dump them in there, make sure that's all packed down. We're going to watch them dig in. So yeah, um, while they're digging in, I'm going to talk about what I feed them. First, what I'm holding is a um, a um, walnut. My mom's cooking with walnuts today, and this one was bad. And it's, I was like, no, don't throw it out. I'll see if my superworms like it. So yeah, we're going to start off by dropping a walnut in there. And then we have a bunch of different leaves. Well, a bunch of different fruit leaves. We have, oh, this doesn't smell too good. This is what my dad uses to feed the roaches. Well, first we have some zucchini. Drop a little bit of that in there. And then this is, um, what is it called? I'm forgetting the name. I have it out in the garden. How if the name comes to me, I'll, I'll tell you guys. But yeah, throw some of that in there. Let's see, we have some lettuce back here. A little bit rotten, I don't like that. 
And then we will stick, I guess, another. Yeah, that should be good enough for 50. Save the rest for the roaches. But yeah, that's how I care for super worms. Let me deflate the air out of that. So yeah, I'm gonna close the lid up. I'm gonna I'm gonna close the lid up. And then I'm gonna come back in a little bit and see how these guys are liking the food. See what they're eating and see. Just see if they're competing heavily for it, otherwise I might need to move them to a bigger tank. So yeah, I'll be back when that happens. Hello YouTube. It's been a few minutes, so let's see how they're liking their food. So that dude's still there. That's kind of concerning. Oh yeah, he's either down there nibbling at the bottom of it. Lift up these leaves. Yeah, they're starting to yank them down. You can see some little heads here. So yeah, they're starting to eat it, but I'm a little bit worried about this one. So what we're going to do, even though it's not feeding day, and while well, this is kind of spoiling the surprise, I have lots of, I have new setups and stuff, I'll explain everything um, later. Uh, who should we give it to? You're looking good. So let me go in here. Yeah, that's ready. Grab some tweezers. Actually, he didn't eat on feeding day, so let's feed it to him. Feed it to Norm. Let me move this new light. I'll explain that to you. Come on, look. He might be going into brumation. Maybe if I drop it. Now do you want it? How do you want it, Norm? Oh, he's probably still adjusting to his new home, or his updated home, so... Okay, so I guess it's going to Blizzard, then. Just re-grab it here. We know that he's a good eater. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. So guys, remember to like and subscribe. I'll explain my whole new setup and everything tomorrow. Or, actually not tomorrow, um, next week. And yeah. So I have, after this, I have, I have two more days and then Thanksgiving comes and I'll be doing a bunch of videos then. And then after that I have two weeks and I will be um, having my finals in so you probably won't see any videos. I will try to throw one out probably. Probably on the contest because I finally decided what I'm going to do. You guys are going to have to wait, for, wait to figure that out. To find that out. And um, yeah, I'll try to throw a video out there. So we could get this contest rolling. So then after an oath exams and a comeback for Christmas, I could separate out the pines, figure out who wants what, and get it shipped out to you guys before the horrible weather starts. So yeah, remember to like and subscribe. And a quick shout out to, um... Dang, I'm, I'm forgetting the, um... AB... Okay, I'm just going to go to my YouTube channel. I'm forgetting the name. He's doing a con. He's doing a shout out for a shout out. I'm just forgetting your name. I'm just drawing um blanks all all the time today. Um, ABG Exotics, I think. Let me make sure I'm getting that right. Come on. Did a recent video. And yeah, he's doing um. He gave me a shout out so. I'm trying to find it. Bee Gees Exotics. There we go. Yep. So yeah, go um, view his video. He'll give you a shout out if you give him a shout out. So yeah, he gave me a shout out already for um, helping out with Leopard Gecko. So you don't have to give me another shout out. So yeah. 
Remember to like and subscribe, and that's all.